This is called the, the impotence of <laughs> proofreading. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? You work very, very hard <laughs> on a paper for English clash and still get a very glow rate on it, like a D or even a D equals. And all because you are the liverwurst spoiler in the whale wide word. Yes, proofreading your peppers is a matter of the, the utmost impotence. Now, this is a problem that affects manly, manly students all over the word. I myself was such a bed spiller once upon a term that my English torturer in my sophomoric year, Mrs. Myth, she said that I was never going to get into a good colleague. <laughs> and that's all I wanted. That's all any kid wants at that age, just to get into a good colleague. And not just anal community colleague either, because I am not the kind of guy who would be happy at just anal community colleague. I need to be challenged, <laughs> challenged menstrually. <laughs> I need a place that can offer me intellectual simulation. <laughs> so I know this probably makes me sound like a stereo, but I really felt that I could get into an ivory legal colleague. <laughs> so if I did not improvement, then gone would be my dream of going to Harvard, jail, or prison. You know, in prison, New Jersey. So I got myself a spell checker, and I figured I was on Sleazy Street. But there are several missed aches that a spell checker can't, can't catch, catch. For instance, if you accidentally leave out word, your spell checker won't put it in you. And God for billing purposes only, you should have serial problems with Tory spelling. Your spell check off may end up using a word that you had absolutely no detention of using. Because, I mean, what do you want it to douche, you know? <laughs> no, it only does what you tell it to douche. You're the one who's sitting in front of the computer screen with your hand on the mouth going, clit, clit, <laughs> clit. Just goes to show you how embargo one careless little clit of the mouth can be, which reminds me of this one time. During my junior mint, the teacher took the paper that I had written on a sale of two titties. And she, no, I'm serial. I am serial. She read it out loud in front of all of my ass mates. It was quite possibly one of the most humidifying experiences I have ever had, being laughed at like that pubically. So do yourself a flavor and follow these two Pisces of advice. One, there is no prostitute for careful editing of your own work. No prostitute whatsoever. And three, when it comes to proofreading, the red penis, your friend, spank you. <laughs>